Hello, this is James Wassum with Church Tech Today, and in this video we're going to talk about ultra-portable church sound system components. First on the list are loudspeakers. You can get a variety of loudspeakers, and many of them come in all-in-one packages that include the amplifier, a speaker system, subwoofer, and even a mixing console. The one shown on the list here is the Bose L1 compact system with a carrying case and Bluetooth adapter. This can be really handy for those smaller setups where you need to cover a fairly good sized room but only have a few components to mix into it. This can come in really handy when you're carrying things in a small space. Also in the column tower array speaker configuration is the JBL Eon 1 Pro. Very similar to the Bose system but just a little bit different form factor. With any of these systems, you just want to make sure you get cases so that as you're carrying the gear around, it doesn't get damaged in the process. There are also several traditional types of loudspeakers, like this QSC K12.2, and this is an active loudspeaker, meaning it has a built-in amplifier. So you need to supply audio and power to this loudspeaker. These can work really handy for main speakers or monitor speakers, depending on what you need. There's also systems that are all-in-one in a traditional speaker format, and they can include stands, wireless microphones, Bluetooth audio inputs, and other audio features that are built into the back of this speaker. Some of these types of systems even have app control, so you can mix them remotely on a mobile device. And while we're talking about speakers, we should talk about slip covers. Now, this can be something as simple as a plastic garbage bag for inclement weather if you're using them outside, or a more sturdy nylon slip cover that just protects it from dust, wind, rain, things like that as you're moving it around. There's also more robust speaker covers available that are extra padded or even made of wood or uh, other materials like plastic that are rated for taking on the road or pushing around in a truck or a trailer. Moving on to mixing consoles, there's obviously several different types of mixing consoles available, but for an ultra portable church setup, you might want to consider some of these compact options. The QSC TouchMix 8 is a great option in a small form factor and it includes app control for remote mixing. So this makes it a great option if you only have a few channels and you want to make sure and provide great sound in a small package. Another popular feature that a lot of portable churches use is what's called a stage box. And this allows you to route all of your cables on the stage and then connect to it wirelessly with a mobile app to do all your mixing from the tablet or app surface. This can be really handy for churches that are really on a budget and just want to have the bare bones minimum and give someone the opportunity to mix on an app, either on stage or at a mixing location. When it comes to mixing consoles, they're probably one of the more fragile pieces of equipment that you want to protect, so getting a good case for them is really important. This is an example of just a soft padded case for a basic mixing console. You can also get hard cases for larger consoles or even the mid-sized consoles, and these are great for protecting the mixer from any bumps or falls along the way. Again, you want to make sure and take care of your mixer, so get the right case for it. In this case, with this larger mixer here, uh, we see that the case has wheels on it to help with loading and unloading components in and out of vehicles. And you're going to have microphones and probably some wireless microphones. So you want to make sure and get the right cases for those as well. This is an example of a case for a wireless microphone with the microphone included in the case. Here's an example of a microphone case for about 12 microphones. And you've got a section to store cables. This is really handy for churches that just have a few mics and uh, want to keep their cables and mics all in one spot. So I highly recommend something like this if your church falls into that category. And of course we need to power all of our equipment so having a good quality extension cord or several of them is very important. 
For sound systems, I highly recommend using a 14 or 12 gauge power cable. Make sure you get several different lengths that suit your needs. You don't need a 100 foot extension cord if you only need to run it 25 feet. There's just a lot of extra cable. So be sure to pick up a few different sizes that are going to work for you. And don't forget, if you have powered loudspeakers, you'll need an extension cord for each loudspeaker. And once you get the power to where you want it to go, you'll probably need some power distribution. It's a good idea to buy a high quality power distribution unit. You don't want all of your sound gear running on a super basic power strip. So get something that'll stand up to the needs of your system and also make sure it's sturdy enough for transporting on the road and hauling back and forth between where you meet and your vehicle. Uh, a lot of gear can get damaged if it's not built properly. So get sturdy equipment and it'll last a long time. If you're really portable and you need to meet outside or somewhere where there isn't power, I would strongly consider looking into different power packs. And in this particular instance, we have a power pack that uh, is on wheels and it can provide up to 1500 watts of power from this built-in battery then you can just plug it in to recharge it. Uh, this makes it super helpful if you're going out somewhere in a field or somewhere far away from the church where you might be having an event but you don't want to run extension cords. So look into some of those options if you need to. And if you're working outside, uh, it's probably a good idea to have a gear tent. Uh, things can change quickly outdoors and you want to make sure that you're protected and that your mixing console and your people can be protected while they're working with these electronics. So invest in a portable tent and probably some sandbags or other stakes to hold it down in case a wind picks up. This is also helpful for very sunny areas and provides shade not only for your people but also for your equipment. Electronics can get hot and overheat so keep them in the shade whenever possible. Another great thing to have on hand is a folding table. Uh, this is great for mixing consoles and other equipment that you might need to set up and you can have some storage space underneath as well. Uh, you may consider investing in a tablecloth or something to cover the table to sort of trim it out a little bit and make it look presentable. And of course with all this gear we've got moving around it's probably a good idea to have a hand truck or a furniture dolly so that you can load heavy pieces of equipment on it and move it around with ease. You want to take care of your people and save your backs while moving all of this heavy equipment. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, feel free to read the article and leave any comments uh, that you might have and feel free to share some of your own uh, portable church sound stories, techniques, and equipment that you like to share. Again, this is James Wassum with Church Tech Today. Thanks for joining us.